Good morning, Francisco. Good morning, teacher. How are you? How are you? Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Very nice, Francisco. Hi, Sinia. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little bit, eh? Yeah. I know. How was your weekend, Sinia? Um, I... Did you work your weekend? No? Mm, no, I class. Okay. On Saturday and Sunday you have classes? University. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. They were not cancelled for you? University classes were not cancelled? I don't know. It's no entiendo mucho la pregunta. No, no le cancelaron las clases en la universidad, ¿no? No, como son virtuales. Ah, ok. Bueno, depende de cada universidad porque igual en la evangélica y en la UCA sí suspendimos clases. Aunque eran virtuales. Ah, okay. <ríe> uh -huh. yeah, very good. Pero se supone que esta semana reanudamos con las clases también. Ok. Yeah, very nice. Es bien, es bien cansado porque tengo un bebé. Ay, sí, sí, niña. ¿Cuánto tiene su bebé? Cuesta mucho. Tiene dos años. Sí, sí. Yo sé. Lo que... <risa> sí, hoy ya descansó un poquito más, pero cuando estaban chiquitas sí, las niñas. Ahorita ya alistándome porque ya no tengo que ir para trabajar. Sí, <risa> yeah, I know. It's very difficult, Sinia. Well, thank you so much for being in class, ¿ok? <risa> okay. <risa> very nice. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. That's yes. nice. Very, very good. All right. All right, guys. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm ready for another week. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Yeah, very nice. And time flies. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to, you know, it's going to be Christmas soon, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very nice. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's my favorite season of the year. <laughs> I uh, love Christmas. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's the, the best time. Yeah, it is. It is. I love it. I love Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Hi, Veronica. Good morning. How are you today, Vero? So fine. Okay, very good. You tired? No? <laughs> yeah. Not tired today? Yeah, a little bit, huh? It's Monday. It's very difficult to begin the week. <laughs> All right, and we have. Yeah, it is hard. Very good. And Maria Lasselli. Okay, girls, I'm Francisco. We're going to begin. All right, so last Friday, if you remember, we were talking about a simple past versus past continuous. Okay, do you remember that? You remember that topic? Yeah, yes, yes, you should. Very yes, good. Sure. All right, thank you. So um, remind me, what did we talk about? Do you remember what we talked about? The structures, the uses? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Who can tell me a little bit about the uses or the structure or anything that you remember? Good morning, Exa. Anything that you remember about a morning, about the topic we studied last um, Friday? Do you remember anything? <clears throat> Anybody? Maybe Francisco, maybe Vero, maybe Carla. All right, who can um? Oh, Carla, you were not in class, right, Carlita? Last Friday. Okay. All right. Anybody that remembers anything about last um class and the topics that we studied, please. Yeah, the past continue. Right. Okay. And what did we talk about the past continuous? What did we say about it? Uh, uh, don't forget the verb to be. That's right. Uh, a structure. Right. Yes, it is part of the structure. It's a very, very important part of the structure that we have. So whenever we are using the past continuous, we need to remember to use 
the verb be plus the ing of the following verb. Very good. Let's see, uh, Francisco, what else do you remember about uh, the topic we studied last Friday? Do you remember anything, Francisco or Maria Araceli, whoever wants to say something? The combination of simple oh, past with past continuous. Right, the combination of them, right? We can use them actually together, all right? That's very interesting. Thank you, Exa. Uh, Maria, I think you were going to say something? No? All right, very good. Um, no. Okay, okay, I thought you were. All right, very good. So we're gonna um, we're gonna keep on talking about that today. I don't know if you remember on the video of the platform we use two words. We use when and we use while. All right. So I'm going to uh, the presentation that I have for you today is about when to use when and when to use while within the past continuous and the simple past. All right. So you have that clear because sometimes we're kind of wondering, aha, but when do I use when? And when do I use while, all right? So that's very important for you to understand and for you to know, all right? So I'm gonna show you that, um, that presentation right now to you. I don't know if you have any questions about last Friday's class. No questions about last Friday's class so far? No? No questions, teacher, but yes. I think that this topic is very hard. <laughs> you think so, Carlita? Yeah, it's a little bit, yeah, it's, you know, it's a little bit complicated because you need to combine two tenses, all right, in one sentence. That's why it's a little bit difficult. All right, yeah. I don't know if you have, do you have any particular questions, Carla? Mm. Uh, no. No, okay, all right. So you know what I'm going to do, Carlita? I'm going to explain the usage of when and while within the same topic anyway okay so we're going to talk about it again a little bit okay so it's a little bit more clear for you okay so we can like um understand it better okay that's the that's the deal good morning claudia hi how are you hi excellent all right this is what i had for you uh, last week well not that but this all right, so just to remind you, this is what we used last week. All right, did I send you the presentation? I did, right? Yeah, okay, I think I did. All right, so this is like the actions, just um, Carla, so we can go over it. Not only Carla, but for everyone, remember the simple past. We use it when we're talking about an action or an activity that is done, that is finished, okay? There's no other way around. I woke up this morning at 5.30. I took a shower, I'm done. I'm not taking a shower right now, all right? So I took a shower, I finished taking a shower. I turned on my computer, I already did, all right? So it's already finished. Whereas the past continuous is an action that is in progress either at a specific point in the past, all right? So I can say, uh, when I was taking a shower, um, my husband called me, all right? All right, so there's two activities happening here, and one is longer than the other one, all right? And then this one is just focusing on an action that continued for a long time in the past. I was taking a shower, all right, when something else happened. So one activity first happened first, and then it was longer than the other one, all right? That's why I couldn't pick up the phone. All right, so remember that when we talk about simple past, we talk about a specific words like yesterday, like ago, like last year, last week. The last gives us the idea that is past tense, all right, that is already done with, or yesterday, or the day before, all right, or last year. All right, so here we have like some examples. I mean, we had here some examples of that. And then we were talking about the past continuous and we said that that was an action that was in progress at a particular point in the past. Remember I told you that the past continuous is a past in the past, all right? So it's like very, very past, all right? So this is like an action happening within a past period of time, a particular point in the past, all right? At two o'clock yesterday, all right, so I'm giving you a particular point in the past, Tommy was playing soccer, all right? Someone is writing on the chat, a teacher. 
have problems with my audio. Okay, Franklin, that's fine. All right, very good. So here we say, uh, Carla was in the home last night. The last night is a particular point in the past when I called her. I think she was working, all right? Then we have Luis and her husband were visiting us last week. This last week is a particular point in the past, okay? So you can have sentences where you can actually have like words from the past, but you be, you're using them actually with the past continuous because you're referring to a particular point in the past, all right? So here we have, this is the structure, remember as um, uh, someone said here right now, we need to remember the uh, verb be, was, were, because it's simple past, and then the verb in ing. All right, remember that you cannot say, for example, he was asleep. No, he was sleeping when the earthquake happened, all right? Or we were eat. No, we were eating when something else happened, all right? So here we have was trying, was studying, was cleaning. Remember for negative sentences, we only add not to the, the, um, to the sentence and then it's negative, all right? After the verb be, here we don't use don't, we, do, we use didn't. We don't use didn't because we're using the verb be and the verb be is conjugated with not, okay? Then we had, we talked about some stative verbs or non-action verbs. These verbs are never conjugated or almost never conjugated in the progressive tenses, in the continuous tenses. They're combinated or they're used on the simple tenses, all right? So you cannot say, I am understanding teacher. No, you say, I understand, all right? Okay, or you don't say, I, I am, I know. I am belonging, you say I belong, all right? So we need to know those things, all right? Here's an example, you don't say I was like in Rome, you say I liked Rome, all right? So those verbs are very, very important. All right, so here we have uh, some examples, all right? So here, this is what we did last class, like this uh, play and watch. We were not, we didn't have time to check these ones, did we? Do you remember, guys, if we had, check, if we had time to check this? No, we didn't. No. We didn't, right? Okay, so here, um, some of you... Teacher, sorry. I don't know, but someone has uh, has unmute. And, and yes, I, I, I can listen to you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I know it's hard for me to talk to. Yeah, I think it's already muted. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, so here we have some of you in here in this sentences you were re, um, you were using both past continuous verbs and that's okay. All right. So let's see. Um, Exa, what did you have for talk and drink last class? Did you come up with that example? <clears throat> Sorry. Yes, we did it last class. Yes. Yeah, right. But I think we didn't check it, right? I didn't. We didn't have time to check them, or did ah, we? Ah, yes, yes. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, we didn't. I think. While Julia was talking about her husband, Monica was drinking a coffee. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you. Okay. So here, notice the example of uh, Exa. All right. While she was talking about her husband, the other girl was drinking something. All right. So here we're using, and in this example, he's using both. Uh, verbs in past continuous and is used in while. Remember that sentence because we're going to talk about that in a moment when we talk about while and when. All right, thank you, Exa. Very good. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Maria Araceli, can you tell us the sentence for number two? Shine and a splash. I don't know if you had that. Maria, do you have that one? Okay. Um, when the sun was shining, the red splashed in ah. the for time. Ah, all right. So listen to her example. When the sun was shining, the bird splashed the fountain, all right? If she's using one in simple past, and the other one is in past continuous and she's using the word when. All right, very good, interesting. Sophia, I don't know if you can do number three for us, please. Okay. While, while the man was 
playing, the other man was watching. All right, very good. Again, look at the example. Two sent, I mean, two verbs being used in past continuous and using the word while. Thank you. All right. Gabby, I don't know if you have number four. Okay. Uh, while my mom wasn't looking, mm -hmm. the breakfast was burning. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right. Yes, that's that's what happened on this picture. And the last one, five. Can someone do it? I don't know if you have it differently from the example or you had like the same example. Or did you change it? Anybody press uh, the five. Uh-huh. While the woman while the woman woman was talking in the phone, okay. the man was shooting the shape. All right. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. Talking on the phone. Very good. Okay, so here already, guys, is this is like interesting because you already know in a way how to use while and how to use when. All right, because I I can see that and I can hear that on your examples. All right, and I can I can see that happening here. But today I need to make sure that you understand it. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about this. Let me just share my other presentation with you here. So here, guys, we have when and while, all right? So this is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna tell you what the usage of these are. Let's see, Claudia, do you mind reading while, please? Okay, while. Yes. We use while to link two continuous actions that happen at the same time in the past. Mm -hmm. We use the past continuous tense for both actions. Thank you, all right? We use while to link or to join two continuous actions that happened at the same time in the past, all right? Exa, can you tell me your sentence again, while? The first one, while Carla, I think it was, was talking about her husband. While Julia was talking yes, about her husband, Monica was drinking a coffee. Excellent, while uh, Julia was talking about her husband, the other girl was drinking a coffee or a cup of coffee, all right? So here, these two actions happened at the same time in the past. That's why we use while, all right? So that is the usage of while. We use, to, uh, we use while to link two continuous actions that happen at the same time in the past. So here, if I ask you which happened first, the girl talking about her husband or the girl drinking coffee, what will you tell me? What happened first on, the, on that example it's, of exam? It's happening at the, at the same right. time. That's right, it's happening at the same time. So here there's not, none of the activities is happening first. They're happening at the same time in the past, okay? Thank you. Then we have this um, chart here. While we're using while here, I'm just gonna show you this. We're using while Tom and Mary were doing their homework. Mom was cooking the dinner. All right. So we have two activities going on here. If you notice, here is 5 p.m. Here is 7 p.m. And here we have both activities happening at the same time. So now we need to join them. All right. And this is what we're left with, okay? It says Tom and Mary were doing their homework while mom was cooking dinner or the dinner, all right? So here we join them and then uh, we have the two sentences together and then we realize that these two actions were happening at the same time, maybe at 6 p.m., maybe at 6.30. We really don't know exactly what time, but we know that they happened at the same time, all right? So you have Tom and Mary were doing their homework while mom was cooking, all right? Do you understand the usage? Yeah? Teacher. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. it's the, uh, and the, the words, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's in the middle or yes. uh, the first? It can be in both places, Claudia. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can say, while well, Tom and Mary were doing their homework, mom was cooking dinner. Or Tom and Mary were doing their homework while mom, while mom was cooking dinner. What you cannot do is have while at the end. It wouldn't make any sense. All right? But you can have it at the beginning or you can have it like exactly joining the two sentences. All right? Yeah? Very good, Claudia. Nice question. Very good. Anybody else has a question? No questions? 
All right, let's go on then. If you have questions, let me know. All right, when? Who wants to read when? Someone to read when for me? Okay, me. Yes. Uh, when we use when to link a long action and the short action, uh, we use the past continuous tense for the long action. We use the past tense for the short action. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So we use when to link a long action and a short action. Okay. So this is like the theory, <clears throat> excuse me, the theory behind the whole thing. When do I use when? Ah, to link two actions, but one is longer and the other one is shorter. All right, so that's the key here. So it says we, and look at this, continue reading. Um, uh, was it Francisco? Who's reading? Yeah, yes. Continue. Uh, okay, we use the past continuous things for the long action. When use the past things for the short Short action. Excellent, thank you. We use the past continuous tense for the long action and we use the past tense for the short action. So it will depend on really which one is the longer action and which one is the shorter action for you to actually know which tense to use, all right? It will depend on the reality, it will depend on the context, it will depend on the usage, all right? It's like if I ask you to make a sentence right now, all right, it will depend what for you, what is longer and what is shorter. But whatever the case is, you need to remember that when the, uh, the action is longer, you must use past continuous. And when the action is shorter, you need to use past tense, all right? If you're using when, okay? I'm gonna show you this diagram. When Tim was doing his homework, mom came at 6 30 all right if you notice the one on yellow here tim was doing his homework the length of time seems to be longer all right i mean you're doing your homework maybe we'll take you an hour maybe we'll, we'll take you the whole afternoon maybe we will take you 30 minutes but it's longer mom came only once and one i mean my mom took one minute to come so obviously there is one action longer than the other action. When do I use press, uh, past continuous? For the longer action. Tim was doing his homework, all right? Which one am I, use going, um, which one am I gonna use in simple past? Well, for the shorter action, mom came home, all right? And it took 30 seconds for my mom to came home. I mean, she just arrived, all right? So if you notice here, and we have on this diagram, the pink line means that it's longer. I mean, it's this whole period of time. So it took like about two hours from five to seven. On that period of time, my mommy, his mother came. She came at 6.30, all right? So here we have the two sentences combined. Tim was doing his homework when mom came home. Or Claudia, when Tim was doing his homework, mom came home. All right, so again, you may place the word when either at the beginning of your two sentences or at the middle of your two sentences and it's grammatically co like correct and okay, all right? That, those are like the two places available for these little words, okay? Very good. I don't know if you guys have questions right now. No, no questions, Gabi, Sophie? Carla, Exa, no questions? All right, very good. Okay, everything's clear? Yes. Yeah, super. All right. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, remember that you can ask me questions when we get to the exercise part. You can always ask me questions. But I think it, these diagrams will help you to understand, all right? I'm very visual, so I, I need those diagrams, okay? Let's see. Then another one. When, I mean, we have another example with when. Tim was taking a shower. The doorbell rang, all right? So obviously there's one sentence that is gonna be, or one action, sorry, that's gonna be longer than the other action, all right? You take a shower, even if you take like a quick shower, like a flash shower, it takes five minutes. If you take longer showers and you take 15 or 20 minutes, it's okay. But it takes a while, all right? And then the doorbell rang. It goes ding dong, all right? And it finished. It's very short. You don't take a shower in a ding dong, 
All right, you take a longer shower, all right? So there's one action longer than the other one. Remember, you're going to use fast continuous for the longer action, and you're going to use simple past for the shorter action, all right? Yes? And again here, you have, uh, it's not that you took two hours to take a shower, but the activity is longer, all right? And at this exact moment, while you were taking a shower, all right, these happen, all right? Here. Two actions happening, whoops, two actions happening at the same time in the past. So here we have draw and smile, all right? So John was drawing a picture while he was smiling, or while John was drawing a picture, he was smiling, all right? So are these activities happening at the same time, or are these activities um, like one shorter and one longer? What do you say? Longer. At the same time, all right, at the same time. How do I know this? Because first I'm using while, all right, and that gives me the, the, the key. If I'm using while, I'm using it because I have two options that are happening at the same time. All right, let me just do something here because I'm going to stop sharing for a second and I want to fix this so you guys can do it and I can see if you guys have any questions. Or if you have any doubts, just give me one quick second. I'm just going to put something on top of it so you guys cannot see it. <laughs> um, here. So we're going to do a couple of examples here. So just give me a second. <clears throat> Oops, it's shorter. Okay, are you guys ready? Now I'm ready to for you to see this, so here. Don't mind what it says here. All right, what I want you to do here is, who wants to give me give, give it a shot? For this one, use the computer, the computer breakdown, okay? What are you gonna use here? It says a longer action and a shorter action. Are you gonna use while, are you gonna use when for that? Ideas, are you gonna use when or are you gonna use while? When? Okay, when? all right, can you give me the example? You have used the computer and the computer break, uh, break down or broke down, uh-huh. So what would you come up with? When, when Juan using the computer, was using the Thank computer? Carlos uh, break down. Broke, broke it, broke. all right, maybe broke. broke it, okay, very good. Or the computer broke, all right, oh no, it's just, it, give you a, it gives you an error and you're like, oh, in the middle of something, all right, very good. So when Juan was using the computer, the computer broke down or Carlos broke it down, all right? Which one is longer? Which one would be longer? Use the computer. Using the computer. Very good. Using the computer. Let's do the other one here. All right. Grandpa, I mean, grandma fall on the floor. And Mary skip. Uh -huh. Who wants to do this one? Someone to try this one for me. Poor grandma, huh? <laughs> When Mary was skipping her grandmother fell, fell yeah. the yes. floor. Yes, very good, excellent. You know what? That's very good because which action would be happening? Which happen? Which action would be longer? Mary skipping or grandma falling? Mary skipping. Right. All right. I mean, the grandma cannot be falling for five minutes. All right. You fall down. It's an instant. Right? You're not, I mean, okay, well, like slow motion, all right? So other, otherwise, Mary skipping or rope skipping, rope skipping, uh, skipping rope here is longer. The activity is longer, all right? Or what if you try while? Who wants to try while? I mean, yeah, when, uh -huh, while. Give me a sentence using while. So the two actions are happening at the same time. Um, me. Yes. Mary was skipping my my 
No. Mary, Mary was skipping mm -hmm. while my grandma falling on the floor. Was falling on the floor, was yes. The floor. Very good, all right. Yeah, so uh, while the girl or Mary was skipping, my grandma was falling on the floor and we did not realize it because we were looking at Mary, all right? So that's like joining two sentences, thank you. All right, let's do the last one for this exercise here, all right? The women chat and the men eat and eavesdropping. He's like eavesdropping. You're like, oh, listening to the conversation. Uh huh. So, what are the two sentences? Can you give me examples? According to the yes, Why? go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um. The woman. Uh, the woman. were chatting uh, while the man was eating. That's right, yes, all right, very good, thank you. So the women, all right, women is in plural here because we have the E, the women, okay. uh, yeah, the, the women were chatting while the man was eating and he's paying attention to what they are talking about, right? So you can see him like going like, oh, I wanna know. All right, very good, okay? Now, can we, although the instruction says while because um, two things are happening at the same time, can we make one longer than the other one? Can someone try to use when instead of while? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, the women, the women were chatting uh, when the men, uh, I don't remember it. Eight, eight yes, eight, eight, eight. Sorry, <laughs> that's okay. Um, eight, eight, the sandwich, for example. All right, very good. Or eight next to them, or whatever the compliment could be. All right, very good. Okay, nice, very good. Let's continue here. All right, note I want you to pay attention to this. It says, I was cooking dinner when I burned my arm. Correct, this is fine something like one happened uh one happened like one is longer and the other one is shorter i was cooking dinner when ouch i burnt my arm it's correct or i burnt my arm while i was cooking dinner all right so both examples are okay it, because this um you can have it vice versa all right as long as you know which one is longer all right so i don't know if you see the difference between these two sentences do you see the difference between these two? Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, okay, very good. All right, now the position of when and while, it's there in the middle of the sentence, all right? But here I was cooking dinner. Why is this was cooking? Because it's a longer action and this one is a shorter action. Then I use when, all right? I burned my arm while I was cooking dinner. You can also say it that way, all right? You need to remember that the was cooking is longer, that's why you're using past continuous, all right? So you can have it either way, and at the end of the day, you're saying exactly the same thing, all right? Let's continue here. When or while, are you guys ready? Okay, I'm gonna be asking one by one. So we, yeah, I want you to pay attention here. All right, Claudia, Susan broke her leg. She was riding her bike. Which one are you gonna choose, when or while? Uh, while. While, all right, let's check that one. All right, very good, you got it, you got a point. <laughs> all right, Maria, when or while? I was playing, my mother was cooking. Maybe Maria is not around. Carlita, Carla Beatriz. Okay. Um, while. Okay, I was playing while my mother was cooking. All right. Very good. All right, then, and then we have here, let's see who else. Sophia, leaves fall, autumn starts. When? Right, okay, and here you notice this is not simple past, all right? But you can also use when for these actions here, all right? But that's okay. Let's see, uh, Exa, can you do this one? While. Yeah, 
All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Francisco, can you do this one? Uh, when? All right, don't disturb me when I'm doing my homework or while I'm doing my homework. What would you do, guys? When or while? Why? While. While? while? Let's check. Yeah, very good. All right. He was dying. I mean, dying some eggs. Sarah was reading. Who wants to do this one? When? While. Why? Why he was dying some eggs? Sarah was reading. All right. So that's that's two activities happening at the same time. Do you know what this means? Do you know what that means, guys? It's not dying like dead, right? It's not. <laughs> Do you know what it means? Like painting. <laughs> all right, all right, like, like putting paint on it, like coloring the eggs, all right? Maybe for Easter and stuff. All right, very good. So this is what we're going to keep on doing now, guys, here, all right? Just, just let me just get it here. Okay. Okay, this is what I want us to do right now. I'm going to go, we're going to, we're going to um, keep on talking about this. I want you to take a picture of this right now. I, mean, I want you guys to do some practice. Can you please take a picture of this right now? I'm just going to make it bigger for you. Can you take a picture of this? Okay, and then I want you to, whoops, and I want you to take a picture of this one. Is it the same one? Wait, 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 hold on, call your horses. I know. No, that's different. Take the other one. Okay, so here, this is what I want you to do. Either one, for example, if I'm working with Vero, all right, so Veronica, I'm gonna use, I, I will decide. I will use these um, questions and Vero, you will use these questions, okay? They are different. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to practice your speaking. So I'm gonna ask questions and then we can go like, I ask, you answer, you ask, I answer, all right? So for example, say Veronica, what were you doing 10 minutes ago? Or oh, uh, 10 minutes ago, I was listening to Jessica, all right? And then she asked me the following question. What were you doing one hour ago? Oh, one hour ago, I was taking a shower or I don't know what you were doing, all right? So the idea here is for you to practice the speaking part and then we're gonna do some like written exercises, okay? All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing. Were you able to take both pictures? Yes, you have, you're supposed to have two pictures of the questions. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to send you to your groups and then you can talk a little bit about using either uh, past. We're using past continuous a lot here. So I want you to like practice it. Or if you're doing, if you were doing 10 minutes ago, you were doing something at the same time, say it, you know, uh, 10 minutes ago, I was like um, connecting while I was, you know, like, I don't know, putting makeup on. All right. So try to use as much as you can is either using when or wild or just a normal sentence saying I was taking a shower. All right. And then I'm going to be coming into the groups to check up on you guys. Okay. I don't want to hear the Spanish. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Thank you. There you go.
Francisco. Hi, Frank. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, I'm going to send you to another group because okay. um, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. There you go. <clears throat>
where we studied in English two hours ago? If not, what were we doing? Yes, we were studying English one hour ago. Two hours? Ah, oh, okay, yes. okay. <laughs> um, we were studying English while we were connected on the computer. Oh. Francisco, what were you doing at midnight last night? Uh, I was watching uh, Facebook. <laughs> I was watching Facebook. <laughs> I, was, I was watching videos, funny videos in Facebook. Francisco, uh, okay. that's why you're Hello. tired. <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I have I have uh this um I don't know say costumbre but um every day I, I sleep um um many or last yes night because okay. I see in Facebook uh, a video uh, funny videos. I like this. <laughs> I like that's, this t-shirt. That's, that's a routine for you. Yeah, you believe me, I like the uh, a, the see these six. videos. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's interesting, Francisco. All yes, right. I like the animal. Uh, uh, people make uh, uh, things, uh, uh, real things, uh, you know. Okay. All right. That's okay. <laughs> All right, girls, continue with Francisco. Okay, I, I make a question, uh, Carlita. Okay. Uh, what were we talking about five minutes ago? Five minutes ago, ago yes. okay. Um, I well, I was uh, attending the class, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and okay, I, I'm gonna ask to Sophie, uh, what were we talking about one minute ago, Sophie? We were talking about Francisco. <laughs> was watching Facebook last night. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, teacher, I yes. need a minute. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sofia and Francisco, you may continue for the last question here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Are you guys yeah. saying medio dia, medio dia is in Spanish? <laughs> yes. No, it, it, noon is in afternoon. Noon or is medio dia. Afternoon medio is dia. tarde. Mm -hmm. is tarde. Yeah. It's like noon, the word noon is medio dia. Afternoon is después del medio dia, so en la tarde. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, breakfast. Okay. Do you know what breakfast means? I mean, breakfast, you understand what is desayuno, right? Yes. But um, morning. yeah, but morning. I mean, to break the fast. Fast is when you don't eat, like ayuno. For example, if you're like, if you go to church, and then sometimes people fasten at the church. All right, or they fast. All right, so that means that they don't eat. So that's why mm -hmm. breakfast is romper el ayuno. So mm -hmm. desayuno. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. Well, I'm in the noon. Yesterday, I was cooking at the in the in the mom house. Hey, hey, Carla, and what were you doing at noon yesterday? I was eating with my family. In the, in the in the small in the mall. Ah. Okay. And yes. you, Maria Garcia. Sorry. What were you doing at noon yesterday? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was. Um, I was shopping at noon yesterday. Oh, cool, Maria Raceli. <laughs> <laughs> nice activity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
shopping food to cook. Right, like grocery <laughs> shopping. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, Ili. Uh, what were what was are your teacher doing one minute ago? Oh, <laughs> oh she she was she was um, uh, corrigiendo. Correcting? Oh, the, correcting. Correcting, yeah. She was correcting us. <laughs> <laughs> I was correcting you while I was listening to you. <laughs> yes. So those two activities yes. happening at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. When we were when we were saying mediodía. Yeah, yeah. When you were saying mediodía, right? Yeah, very nice. Okay. Um, the last question. Uh, Araceli, what what were we talking about? Ah, uh, one minute ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, we were <laughs> You are so kind. Osma, Osma is like a Shrek. Yeah. Yes. Why, why is Osmani like Shrek? <laughs> he <laughs> loves la, like the, the hard way. Yes, because uh, we are talking about uh, Beauty Sleepy, but they say that. Because yeah, I was yeah. sleeping at six o'clock. Oh my goodness, Gabby. <laughs> yes, by cutting too. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> all right. And... Okay, continue, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Exa, were you watching TV at 11 o'clock last night? No, I wasn't. Okay. Uh, Karen. Who were you talking uh, talking to a few minutes ago? Uh, we were talking about this homework, uh, when and why. But but who, the question uh -huh, uh -huh. who? Ah, uh, Exa and Gabby. Okay. Very good. Okay. Continue. Karen to Gabby. Um, Gabby, oh. five. What Number were five. what what okay? What were you doing yesterday at afternoon at one o'clock? Mm, I I was taking my my I, my lunch with my family. Okay. And Exa, what is raining one hour ago? Uh, no. It wasn't. Okay. Finally. <laughs> finally yes. stop raining. Uh, finally. In, in, I in, my, in, my, in my house, it, yes. It's raining. Yes. No, Gabi. Where do you live, Gabi? <laughs> <laughs> in Santa Lucia, in Ilopango. Oh, really? And it's oh. raining? Or it was raining? No, it was raining. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know yes, what? Here, because... uh, it's cloudy, but it's not raining. Uh, in where the Gabi live is near San Jacinto. Um, yes, but it's no, no, it's more, it's farther away. Uh huh, it's farther it's away. Far. Okay, okay. Uh, Karen, where were you studying English one an hour ago? Um, yes, because uh, he, it was happy media. Yes, yes, we have, <laughs> She's we like have the <laughs> class. Yes, okay, it passed an hour. Yeah, one hour. Fast okay, and what were yes. we doing? Oh. What were you doing at midnight? last night and um, i was uh, sleeping at midnight <laughs> last night <laughs> we love sleep yes. yeah i can see the me too Karen and Gabby. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> you see exa you don't yes. like to sleep exa yes 
Yes, but at midnight. Let me think. No, exactly at midnight. I was playing, playing with you. <laughs> I, I was playing. At, at midnight. You love playing. We love sleep. Yeah, she, they love sleeping, and you like playing. Sleeping. Oh no, exactly. <laughs> yes, he love I, playing Candy Crush. Oh no. Oh, I was playing Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different game. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Exa, what was our teacher doing one minute ago? Well, one minute ago she was uh, check checking our pronunciation <laughs> and, and all that we are we saying. Have, we yeah. have working uh, homework. <laughs> yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> Very good. And then. All right. Uh, Karen, what were we talking about five minutes ago? Um, we, um, I was talking about a homework and the Gabby and Mike, I like, and I, and I. We, we like, like uh, sleeping and we have ha a joke, joke, a joke with you, with you uh -huh, for, for the game. <laughs> Time right. you have, and 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 that you have a you have a shower uh, so fast than <laughs> than Gabby and me. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness! I don't want to know that. All right, <laughs> because because uh, he uh, the women ha need more time because exactly. uh, to uh, our our hair is. So oh. uh, longer than, <laughs> than, than men. Yes, I have short. Yes, I have short hair. Sure hair. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my goodness. This is a different. All right, guys, we're gonna go back because I just wanna do something quickly, and then it's time to go. Pretty much, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys, very good. I just want to show you this before we go. All right, we're going to do this tomorrow anyway, but I want to show you this, which is on the PowerPoint. Uh, we're going to talk about it. We're going to keep on just like reviewing as always, as soon as we come in, reviewing the topic and then doing the exercise together tomorrow. And then we move on with the other topics. Okay, I just want to show you this one just before we go here. And it says, whoops. It says while, all right? So here it says while um, it's used to express two continuous actions happening at the same time. We already know that. While you were sleeping, I was doing the housework. See, notice the position of while can be at the beginning or in the middle. Uh, number three, this is what I want you to uh, pay attention to. While or when is used when a continuous long action is, in, is interrupted by a short action. We're talking again about the longer and the shorter action, all right? Example, while I was doing homework or uh, while I was doing homework, my mother knocked at the door or when I was doing homework, my mother knocked at the door. All right. So you can either use either or here. Number two says when uh, it when is used to express an action that happened in the course of another action. Example, when we were in the city center, we went to a nice restaurant. OK, so this is another usage of it. All right, and then the last one, when we uh, when is used to express an, an action that happened immediately after another action. When Joe shouted at Tina, she, le um, she left him in the cafe and went away, all right? So we're gonna see this tomorrow again, so you know like there are more usages to it, very similar, all right? But it's very important for you to know like every use that we can actually do with these two words, okay? I'm going to take attendance right now quickly. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Veronica Beatriz Celso. She was in. Uh, Osmani Saúl de León. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. Vania, oh no, Blanca Estela Marroquín. She texted me. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. All right, Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Thank you, Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Uh, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Dalila Estela Silva Moran. She was in for a while. Uh, Maria Raceli Gonzalez Flores. Present. Thank you, Maria. Sinia Elizabeth Mejia. 
Tina was also in before. And Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martinez. Claudia Iliana Casun. Present. Thank you. Brenda Lucia Rosales Guzman. Uh, Karen Lisset Reyes. Present. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestiz. Present, teacher. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, I'll let you go. I know you Thank have you to too. work and get ready. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day and be safe, okay? Thank you. I'll send you the presentation. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a great day.